So Drake May is my number two quarterback. And before we get into the film, I, I just have to say this, this notion in this process that Drake May is falling or he's not as good as advertised, that's false. Drake is as good as, as advertised. He's an excellent player. And in a lot of ways, this reminds me of this narrative that was started last year around C.J. Stroud. I didn't understand it then, and you look at what C.J. Stroud was able to do in his rookie season with the Texans, and you're like, well, what was all of that you know, smokescreen and, and fluff around the draft process? Well, that's what it was. It was a smokescreen. It was fluff. I think that's what we're starting to hear and see with Drake May. I get it. There's going to be some purists that don't love his feet that don't love his decision-making ability in particular when he didn't have a lot around him and he was trying to force the football down the field. But when you watch some of these elite attributes that Drake May has, it jumps off the tape and you realize that he does things better than any of these guys except for Caleb Williams. He makes throws that are ridiculous. And I want to take you to the tape. This is the, the Holiday Bowl a couple of years ago against Oregon. Watch this throw. So first and foremost, what am I looking at in the red zone? Well, I've got two high safety and a linebacker walked out. Okay, I've only got a limited number of guys here in the front seven. In fact, there's only four up there. We're getting a four-man rush, and yet one of them gets to me. And I understand that I've got to hit my back foot and throw a tight window in a triangle to one player coming across the edge, and I need to lead him up and high into the end zone. That throw is incredible. Like, it just doesn't happen. You don't, you don't make that throw. I, <laughs> I love that throw. Guys don't do that often. And I think that that gets lost when people are trying to nitpick at Drake May. He made another one that I almost came out of the booth for at the Holiday Bowl. This one, I think, is, it, it encapsulates it. This is the, the only tape that you need to see for Drake May. First and foremost, the pocket is a disaster, and he stays in it. He doesn't run around. He doesn't panic. He's got a free rusher in his face, and he's still reading it down the field. The safety is going to run across the field with that over. He's got a second guy in his face, and now he's got a one-on-one -on -one here, and he's got to lead him out. That throw is ridiculous. It's perfectly placed. It's on time, and if it's not there, you don't get any yak yards after the catch. And what happens? He actually runs for a touchdown. Why? Why was that a touchdown? For no other reason than Drake May is supernatural. He eludes the rush in a tight space. So first of all, he gets back in the pocket and he kicks and he steps up when there's no space to kick and step up in. Then he still has the power and the foresight to read it out out there. He's reading it out and then throws a dime. And people are like, I, I don't love his footwork. What? Am I taking crazy pills? Yes. The answer is yes. Drake May is unreal. And by the way, he can be, although not an elite, creator and threat with his legs. If you watch him in, in, in action, you'll see him be able to tuck it. Now, you can see like he's manageable as a runner. I don't think he's elite. He's not threatening the defense. He can run if it's there. He can create. He can throw on the run. So I think it's, it's okay. Right when he gets out into that situation, he can. Again, it's it's not elite. So let's go back to the grade sheet. If Caleb Williams was elite in every category, I give Drake May an elite in four categories: IQ, pocket control, arm talent, and creativity. The mobility part, I would just say, okay, he's he's okay, he's serviceable. So what does that make him? An excellent prospect. I think in any other draft where Caleb Williams is not in the draft, Drake May is the top pick in the draft. He should get taken second. I don't think he's going to get taken second, but he should get taken second. That throw I just showed you was unreal. Just watch it again. Just watch it again. I love that kid. I think that he's going to be highly competitive. I think he's going to be really good. Thank you for watching the Joel Class Show YouTube channel. And if you like this clip, make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel, and you can stay up to date on all of my college football coverage.